This was actually supposed to be my second video of the after work build series, but the first one really sucked. We're redoing it right now, my printer's working overtime, and so are we. Now kicking off the after work build series, we have a dab mat. And I don't mean dab like, I actually mean dab like, but why? Well, one of my favorite aspects of the dabbing community is the customizations. From rigs, wands, caps, buckets, and bangers, to stickers, mats, boxes, and bags, Hedies are always trying to represent their style through gear. And this guy is a nerd and he loves LEDs. So that's enough talk, and let's jump into this build. Start off with a 3D printed polygon figure. This one is of an astronaut and is a remix of Mighty Nozzle's design. It can be found on Thingiverse from the link in the description below. I edited the polygons so that they're a little bit larger and easier to work the epoxy into. Once that's done printing, lay out some blue painters tape and stick the astronaut well onto it. We don't want the colors to seep into one another. Mix up some rainbow glow in the dark epoxy and get to tiny pipetting. After some tired fingers, you'll have a beautifully filled astronaut, and as long as the tape is adhered well, the epoxy shouldn't spread and the tape should peel off nicely. Alright, it's time for everyone's favorite part, the wiring! Start by soldering up three lead wires to the head of the LED strip. Solder the other ends of these leads to the ESP8266 microchip. And since I was using a pinless board, I made a couple makeshift ground and VIN pins out of copper. And we'll be attaching quite a few wires to them, so I made them extra long. The first will be two VIN and ground leads from the battery. Then we'll be wiring up the button, which will have one lead soldered to ground and the other soldered to a data pin. The brain box as well as the rest of this build was 3D modeled in SketchUp and printed on my Ender 3. The build was streamed on YouTube and can be found under my dab map playlist. Link to Thingiverse are in the description, and check out the SketchUp files for the exact dimensions. Epoxy pouring isn't the most interesting thing but it's one of the most important steps. And the first layer is maybe the most important. I pour a very thin layer and let it sit for 45 minutes so it can get fully tacky. That way when I put the astronaut in the center, it won't drift during the rest of the pours. If it's been 45 minutes, you can probably put the astronaut on the first layer. If you're worried about the tackiness, you can check it with a toothpick or a shish kebab stick just to make sure the astronaut won't slide around during the second layer pour. Once you're certain, you can pour on the second layer and you can monitor the astronaut just make sure he doesn't slip out from the center. Remember to remove air bubbles layer by layer. Once you pour on another layer it'll be almost impossible to remove lower layer air bubbles. And we're on our third layer. 
I'm going really thin on this because I want to make sure there's as few bubbles as possible. And now we're on to the fourth layer and everything is basically covered and we're just making sure that this is going to be a very flat layer and that it goes all the way up to the brim. By now in this video, you're probably wondering why haven't I talked about the two part timer yet? Now that we poured the epoxy, this build is basically finished and we can talk about it right now. The first part is a heating timer. A hand will move around the perimeter of the mat and it will fill with red. Once the mat is solid, the cooling timer will kick off. The cooling timer uses a similar animation, but in blue. Once the cooling timer is finished, the mat will flash a rainbow, letting you know it's time to take your dab. When the timers aren't in use, the mat will fade through colors. Press and hold the button to turn the LEDs on and off. This mat came out pretty great. Really happy I only had to print out that giant box once. And if I had to make it again, I think I would build a cover for the entire thing that hides the computer, the wires, the battery box, and the LEDs. But for now, I'm calling it. I have a bunch more content coming your way, so stay tuned. Cheers! Oh, killed it.